So this was the old uh, train station. They used to wait for trains here. Okay, Nandu. I'll tell you a story of this place. Now, the station that you've seen huh? earlier, see, this is very close to Sri Lanka. You know the country, right? Sri Lanka. So, this is very close. Earlier, you could catch a train from Chennai called the Boat Mail. Okay, the Boat Mail would come all the way to this point. And then, while there was no direct train connection here, no? you could take a, this is called the pier. Pier na ship varayado. Boats, ship la ar So, this is the pier. The boat mail would come stop here and then people would get on the pier and then they would go to a place called Talai Mannar. Okay. Talai Mannar, we will be going when we go to Sri Lanka. But Talai Mannar is about 18, 18 kilometers from here. As far as Rameshwaram is from here, Talai Mannar is there. That's Sri Lanka, the different country. Before 1960s, there was no such restriction on visa, passport, none no. of them. You could just get the boat mail train, stop here, take the next ship and go to cross over Talai Manna side, it used to take about one one dollar. Interestingly, Interestingly, you know, just imagine the 80 meter waves came here completely down this place and it took away all the people. Just imagine one whole town is now not there. Everybody is underground. This happened what? 1964, that's about 55 years back. There was a train that was going key chuk chuk coming to this place. That train just took away. The wave came and just took it away. The whole train went inside the sea. And the bridge broke. The bridge broke through just the station. The station has a bridge. Everything broke. And the sea basically took everything inside and went. And then they declared the place inhospitable. And the local damage created from the tsunami. I don't know if it is a tsunami or not, but yeah, you have 80 meter waves, right? It's a huge cyclonic rain resembling a tsunami. That took away the whole town. Otherwise, Danushkodi was far, far richer as a town. Rameshwaram was a much smaller town than Danushkodi. Danushkodi was a little more rich, but you see today, nothing is there. Here. Interestingly, this is also the point in the Ramayana where Rama came uh, till the end of the Indian mainland with the Vanara army. Go oh, and search for Sita. Sita. And um, the first first step of searching was okay, they have to get to Sri Lanka. So what did they do? They what did they, they had to build uh, a stone. To, uh, a, a, stone bridge. a stone bridge. So I'll take you to another place where they show you those floating stones. You want to see those floating stones? Jai Sri Ram La Pote Sri Vila Pasta. Come I'll take you to that place now. Get up. Look here. What is Say, inside the water there is a small toy fish. No? Oh, so cute. Can you see it? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? That absorbs the light, Nandu. Solar panel. It stores it as electricity. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know? 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 How does the stone feel, Nandu? Yeah. Yeah. How does the stone feel? A little watery. See, the stone is actually hard. Yeah. It's hard but it's still floating. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. no? Yeah. I'll tell my mom about this in the letter. Yes, you can. What did you learn now? See, the stone can be as hard as this but it still floats in water. So now that we Nandu's got his first toy after Pressurizing, saying that he wants some toy on the trip. So now that we have done this, we have seen the the erstwhile railway station. Our next point is uh, Danushkodi. Yeah, the end of Danushkodi, which is called the Arichal Munai. So we are going there right now. We are right now in the old town of Danushkodi. This is the old town. 
So time to put our shoes and uh, get back on the jar. Sorry, get back on the car for the journey. <laughs> We are right now in Arichal Munai, uh, that's where we've reached and uh, this is also said to be the Ram Setu or the point where the Ram Setu bridge was constructed and it's also called Sangamam, the Sangam or the confluence of three different uh, water sources. So you come from a traffic jam laden Bangalore to a traffic jam laden uh, Sangam. Refreshing bath uh, in the sea that's near Arichamai, which is the rougher side of the sea. Of course, the, the more peaceful side of the sea is uh, this side, where there aren't any waves and the depth also isn't very high. The tip of mainland India, Arichamai, Sangam. 